What's up guys, it's Tommy and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Transit News video and we have some big big news for you guys regarding Liverpool's potential huge January transfer but first let me wish you guys all the Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and also I wish you guys to have the best of time with your family. Let me know what kind of football related gifts did you get in the comments below. Jonathan David, the Leo striker, he is actually one of the top scorers if not the top scorer of the French League ahead of Kylian Mbappe his agent recently came out and he said that this will be Jonathan Davis last season at Lille before he is moving on and he is a big favorite to land in the Premier League and uh, even uh, more even better news uh, for Liverpool fans Liverpool are one of the clubs who are very interested in this guy and of course he's not Mbappe he's not Haaland but I think he's the next very very talented striker who could become a superstar in the Premier League he is from Canada and so he wouldn't have any problem settling in in England and he's only 22 years old and his numbers are pretty awesome Arsenal Liverpool and Real Madrid and many other clubs are circling around him and I'm sure that his agent is already putting out feeders to see which club or which clubs are interested in him. So Jonathan David's agent is called Nick Mavromaras and he recently gave an interview in Radio Canada and this is what he said. For us the goal is to finish the season in Lille but it will be Jonathan David's last season there for several reasons. I think the Premier League is a good option for him. I think that he likes Spain a lot also because he likes the feeling of the ball and the very technical players. These are the two leagues that are a big priority for David and I think that he um, nothing is excluded. You never know what could happen with Paris Saint-Germain or the big Italian clubs as well. It's normal that all these big clubs are interested in the top scorer in Ligue 1 and but I can tell you that today there is no official offer and Jonathan David already hit 12 goals in 19 appearances in the French League and he's considered to occupy a, to a, a similar talent bracket to in demand uh, Dortmund striker Erling Haaland when it comes to hot prospects but I don't think they would, worth, they would be worth the thing. Haaland's uh, stock is certainly a lot higher and his price will be a lot higher in the transfer market but Haaland's uh, really close to 65 million Jonathan David will cost maybe even uh, less than that 60 million or 55 million something around that uh, that ballpark and his agent also say, said I cannot say the price today it, uh, it is up to Lille and what they want but in the end it's football Jonathan is not going to say it but he knows that he's one of the best young strikers in the world there is also Erling Haaland who costs today 75 to 100 million euros there have been offers to 150 million euros for other players if you want to be on that list you have to learn to handle the pressure and Jonathan David is certainly handling the pressure this season so first let's look at his career he's only 22 years old as we said and he started off his career uh, his professional career in the Belgian Pro League for Ghent where he hit 14 goals in his first season in 43 games then he hit 23 goals in 40 games in the 1920 season and then he signed for Lille where in his first season it wasn't like an explosive breakthrough season he hit 13 goals in 48 games but this season he in all competitions he has 16 goals in 27 matches which is awesome Lille, Lille qualified for the knockout stages of the Champions League and Jonathan David hit three goals in six matches in the Champions League so he can do it on the biggest stage as well and also his record for Canada is absolutely amazing uh, I'm just seeing this uh, for the first time that he has 18 goals in 24 matches for Canada which is absolutely amazing and the Canada national team was actually the most improved national team in the year 2021 he they got uh, up a uh, higher in the highest in the ranking uh, from the lowest position he, they they got the biggest uh, like upgrade and uh, they certainly are on the verge of qualifying for the World Cup if not already they qualified I haven't checked the qualifiers but yes uh, the opponents uh, you know in the qualifiers are not great that's why probably David has for 18 goals in 24 games but still it's in international football so he has a big big experience and he's already a title winner he already won the French League against all odds ahead of Paris Saint-Germain who has one of the 
like biggest budgets in the world and Lille managed to beat them to the title last season thanks to Jonathan David's goals but you know he has 13 goals in 37 matches last season so he had a period of settling in he got going a little bit late during the season I watched Lille very closely because I'm a big fan of Jonathan David I had him in my Portsmouth career mode on FIFA 20 which I just played for fun I never showed it to you guys but I, I just uh, played that and Jonathan David became a 96 rated striker and it was a lot of fun to use him so I've been following his career ever since he was playing in Belgium in that time uh, so I thought it was a realistic transfer to bring him to the Premier League and he will be coming to the Premier League I think in his career whether it's his next move or the move after that that's a big question and Nathaniel Phillips uh, told Liverpool that he would like to join in another club and to play regularly because being fifth choice center back at Liverpool is, is pretty much uh, no use for a player who is already 25 years old and he really needs to play and he deserves to play especially after his heroics last season where Ned Phillips was a big part of why Liverpool finished in fourth place so we will be grateful and um, thankful for him for that and uh, it looks like West Ham United want to sign him I think he would be absolutely perfect for West Ham but German competition is also in for West Ham and that is Eintracht Frankfurt who are a decent sized the club in Germany they recently played in the Europa League as well and the BBC Sport uh, website is already reporting that Eintracht Frankfurt are also interested in Philips so you know what both clubs should just bid and let's see who bids the highest and that's where probably Nathaniel Phillips will, will go and there has been recently a little bit of a debate whether uh, Liverpool should get Kelleher to move on loan or should he stay at Liverpool and just train with Liverpool and play the odd game which would be more beneficial for his career Mark Lawrence and the former Liverpool were actually weighed in on the debate he said I do not think Jurgen Klopp will let Kelleher go out on loan not in January the problem is if he goes to the championship if you let him out that is a completely different experience because you get better than crosses will come in and corners etc they will surround him all those kind of things which doesn't really happen generally in the Premier League unless you are playing Burnley but I think Klopp will be really 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 reluctant to let him out I just do not think it will happen I think we'll Klopp will err on uh, the side of caution you are training a, in a you are in training every day all these players your Salas your Manes all these kind of Jotas and all those he says so I want you to stay by and by the way Adrian he could not keep bees anymore according to Mark Lawrence so you would not want him as number two and yes that's why I think Kelleher is around if anything happens to Alisson we know that we have a safe pair of hands in a cap in Kelleher Adrian is really third choice goalkeeper third choice goalkeeper at this time and I really hope that Kelleher, Kelleher will actually play the League Cup semi-finals against Arsenal because he deserves it after his penalty saving heroics and I think Liverpool play their second team against Arsenal but we just have to wait and see how much Liverpool will rotate or not and it also has emerged this week that Aston Villa has made a cash bid for Joe Gomez I'm sure that Steven Gerrard put a word in the ears of Aston Villa uh, transfer um, scouts or whoever is transfer negotiators rather who, whoever is responsible for transfers as Aston Villa because Steven Gerrard knows that Joe Gomez right now is not playing at Liverpool and he's still a world-class left back who is just not finding his way into the team this season. Former Aston Villa manager Alex McLeish said that Aston Villa should really go hard and get Joe Gomez at all costs. He would still probably cost over 20 million but these are at the levels we are at these days. Gomez is probably at the moment in his career where he needs to play every single game or most of the games in a season he has got to think about his own future too and that's true but at the moment you know Matip, Konate and Van Dijk are in such great form that it's very very difficult for Joe Gomez to get in the team and remember Joe Gomez was Van Dijk's partner in the season where Liverpool almost went invincible and we won the league with 21 points with seven games to go and Joe Gomez is still that same player even more experienced maybe but right now he's just out of the team because he has been pretty unlucky with injuries again I don't think Liverpool should sell him for 20 million I think he should we should sell him for at least 40 45 million and I don't think Aston Villa have the money to pay that but that's just my opinion let me know what you think about the topics we talked about in the comments below and leave a like if you appreciate me recording a video for you guys still on Christmas Day so thanks for watching have a nice day see you later Wait.